how to fix Valorant failed to install descriptive file error. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel app guide. In this video, I'll simply show you how you can fix if Valorant failed to install descriptive file error. So you simply want to make sure to watch this video till the end. Now if Valorant failed to open the descriptive file, it could be happening due to a couple of reasons. First of all, what you want to do is just open up your task manager by scrolling your mouse wheel to the bottom of the taskbar, right clicking on it and then choosing the option called task manager. And then once you come to task manager, make sure you're under the processes tab. Here you want to make sure to end all the ride games, Vanguard and then the Valorant processes. So scroll down to the bottom of the screen until you get to the Vanguard and any other section. If you see Vanguard or ride games of Valorant, just right click on it, choose the option called end task and then go ahead and then reopen all those files again. If that doesn't help solve your problem, this could also be happening due to the drive where your Valorant is installed. So you want to make sure to uninstall those applications. Now first of all before that you might also want to open settings and then you might want to go to apps and then you want to go to installed apps. Once you go to installed apps here you simply want to search for Vanguard and once you search for Vanguard you want to simply go ahead and then delete that application because what Vanguard did is that it is actually no use after you go ahead and then install it for your Valorant. You can also see right Vanguard over here just click on the three dots choose the option called uninstall over here after you uninstall this try to open up Valorant and see if that fixes the issue. If that doesn't help then just try to uninstall and then reinstall the Valorant application itself. I know it's a long process and you've downloaded after a long while but in order to get this job done you might want to uninstall and then reinstall it again or else you might also want to come to windows update over here and then check whether or not you have installed the latest version hopefully this video helped solve your problem if it did help solve your problem then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you have got any more questions then make sure to also leave them down thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video